Hi. Hi, hi, and viewers. I am Dr. Preetam. I am consultant pediatrician at Rainbow Children's Hospital, Sikandrabad. Now, the question for today is jaundice in newborns. Now, this is the commonest problem what we come across in a newborn baby. Jaundice is commonly seen in the first couple of weeks of birth, and this is more so common in premature babies as compared to term babies. I would say almost 90% of the kids get some sort of a jaundice in the newborn period and most of the time the jaundice levels are physiological. Physiological in the sense any child who is having a jaundice which is less than 12 and happening in the first one week of life is called as physiological jaundice. The jaundice tends to appear after 30, uh, 24 hours of life and then peaks usually on the third day and then comes down. That is a normal routine which happens in most of these babies. Now only 30% of these babies require some sort of a treatment for that but otherwise most of the babies would settle down on its own. So this jaundice usually doesn't require treatment but when it crosses dangerous levels that is if it crosses above 20 so it can get into the brain and cause some problems for the baby and beware these, these problems can be life threatening or they will be long lasting. So it's always important that we screen the baby properly and prevent the baby from getting into problems so it's so whenever you notice that your child is yellow it's always better to take to the doctor because at least the doctor would be able to tell you whether it is high low and treat accordingly now any child who's uh, we have charts for them based on the age specific normals so based on that if the child is falling into the phototherapy range we do give phototherapy phototherapy is nothing but a blue light which is administered it can be given in the mother's side also and mother will be feeding the baby only thing is instead of the mother uh, the baby being besides the child mother it would be under the phototherapy light so this goes on probably some most of the babies would require for 24 to 48 hours and it gets down as the child ages so this is the commonest treatment what we give and but one thing as a parent you need to understand is there are some pathological jaundices also which continue for a lot of time. Now any jaundice which is going beyond one month definitely needs a treatment and definitely needs a diagnosis. So that is one thing which parents sometimes miss out and cause problems which are uncorrectable at a later stage. So always any jaundice which is be going beyond I would say three weeks be careful and get it investigated properly.